What boosts bleeding risk? Certain chronic health conditions can leave people more likely to experience bleeding. For example, liver disease can affect blood levels of factors involved in clotting, and kidney disease can affect normal platelet function. Blood vessel changes related to diabetes and cancer can also predispose people to bleed. One large group of medications that increase bleeding risk are nonsteroidal. Anti-inflammatory drugs, including the over-the-counter pain relievers ibuprofen, Advil, Aleve, as well as prescription NSAIDs such as Celecoxib, Celebrex, and Diclofenac steroids, which are used to treat conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease. And rheumatoid arthritis can also raise bleeding risk. That's true even if you take a steroid, prednisone is a common example. For just 7 to 10 days to treat a flare-up of the disease, says Dr. Piazza. Technically, anti-clotting drugs don't cause bleeding per se. Bleeding results from a breach in the wall of a blood vessel. But anti-clotting drugs interfere with your body's normal reaction to quell. Microscopic amounts of bleeding which may continue unabated and become more serious. What are the warning signs? Some people who take anti-clotting drugs notice bleeding after shaving with a razor. Or they have nosebleeds that take longer than usual to stop. Frequent or large bruises, especially on the trunk of the body, are potentially worrisome signs. Be sure to tell your doctor if you have these symptoms. Seek medical care right away if you have more serious symptoms. These include pea-colored, pink, or red urine, possible bleeding in the urinary tract, blood in your stools or black, terry stools, possible gastrointestinal, a sudden, severe headache, possible bleeding in the brain. Brain bleeds can be life-threatening. If you're taking an anti-clotting drug and have any sort of head trauma, even just bumping your head on a door frame, you should go to the emergency room for a CT scan, Dr. Piazza says. If the scan reveals any bleeding in or around your brain, you'll receive medication to counteract the anti-clotting drug and any other necessary treatment. 